Hey everybody, welcome back to All About April. Today's episode is going to involve what is my book club reading for the month of August? I know I'm a bit delayed. The school year has started for me and it's actually started a bit earlier than it typically does. So I went back to work July 31st. My students officially came back August 8th. So yeah, it's been a little busy around here, but nonetheless, I am here and I am ready to tell you exactly what we decided to read for the month of August. So for those of you who have been following along for the month of July, we actually read The Thing About Home by Rhonda McKnight. I love the book four or five star read, depending on how you go along with it. Just really, really great. And we just decided that we were going to continue with what Rhonda had going on. And that book is going to be Bitter and Sweet by Rhonda McKnight. I'm about 80 pages in and I am loving it so far. Our book club meeting is not until the beginning of September, so I have some time. Definitely going to finish it by then. I've been reading it during lunch, but just wonderful. Now, one thing I will say about Rhonda is that she's really good at meshing the past with the present. And that is something that you have seen in her book, The Thing About Home, and you're also seeing with Bitter and Sweet. And y'all know, I am a historian, so seeing the things about South Carolina in this book and the Gullah tradition, it gives me all the feels. But with Bitter and Sweet, you are going to have a story about a grandmother, or this grandmother who has these letters, Grandma Tabby, and they are going through these letters. They as in Mariah and Sabrina, two sisters who really don't get along with each other. Um, Mariah's husband actually left her for another woman. And so she's going through her divorce and Sabrina is pretty much homeless. She's living out of a van that she moves here and there. Her daughter stays with her from time to time, also stays with her daughter's, excuse me, with her daughter's father's mother as well. So there is a bit of instability going with both Sabrina and Mariah, but both of them get a call from their grandmother, not Grandma Tabby. They get a call from their grandmother, from their grandmother, come home, come to South Carolina, I need you. The girls are thinking that it has something to do with their grandfather who has been terribly ill, but come to find out, no, the grandmother wants them to save the restaurant. The family restaurant that has been within the family for years. Unfortunately, once both Sabrina and Mariah get there, they realize how much in debt the restaurant is. And this is really where the story begins to take off. But they also get to read Grandma Tabby's letters. And let me tell you, the back and forth, how she interweaves this, is just so beautifully done because you get to see how the restaurant comes about from Grandma Tabby, but it also intertwines with how Mariah and Sabrina will be able to hopefully save this restaurant and also repair their relationship. How will they be able to do this? And with everything going on with them regarding homelessness and a divorce, are they able to pick up their own lives instead? I know a lot going on, but just reading it, it just gives me all the feels. And I'm interested to see how all of this intertwines, like what happens to Grandma Tabby as far as her meeting up with Joseph, this guy who really, really wants her, but he's much older than her. And then the dynamics that I mentioned already with Mariah and Sabrina, and can they really repair their relationship as sisters? So I think not only is this going to be a fantastic read, just like the thing about home was for me, but I'm really, really, really interested in the conversations that we're gonna be having in regards to this book. Age gap romance between Grandma Tabby and Joseph, actually going back home. What do people feel about going back home and helping their families in this kind of way? Do they do they feel like they owe that to their families? Is that a responsibility that they should be able to take on? And also, how do you repair 
relationships between siblings? What exactly caused that dynamic to even happen between Mariah and Sabrina? Just so many good things that have been brought to the table and it's things that are very, very real for so many people. So I cannot wait to finish it and dive in. Definitely gonna let y'all know how we ultimately break the book. But if you have not already, let me know. Have you read The Thing About Home? And also, have you read Bitter and Sweet by Rhonda McKnight? Because it is fantastic. And I also wanna go on ahead and plug my bookmark, the Khalees bookmark right here. It's I'm reading, really, really great. And then of course, I also have my Dodgers bookmark right here because I love the Dodgers. So yeah, let me know if you've read it, if you plan on reading it, just a great, great novel. Can't wait to hear from y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time for the next video. Bye y'all.